<laughs> yes. Okay, I, I've got a bunch of questions I have to ask okay. you. Um, if for some people, it's hard for them to understand why you would give up this wonderful ministry of going around the country singing gospel, sing, Southern gospel music, because you obviously were doing very well. You were selling records. And why, uh, to talk more about that. Well, we grew up in the church, Tom. I think, you know, we became, uh, we found the Lord in the church. And uh, as we grew older and young people began 16, 17, we became 16, 17, we thought, uh, the church really didn't have anything, I don't want to say it, like didn't have anything for us, but we lost interest, okay, let's put it that way. And uh, so we're trying to get young people today not to lose interest in the power of God and in Christ. And how we're doing that, kids are listening to all kinds of music, and uh, we're trying to give them something that's an alternative to the junk that's out there, and that's another whole story, another whole controversy, but the thing is, the message, the lyrics, what we're saying today, choose to refuse, really, really has a message for kids. So that's why we're trying to take the gospel to these kids that normally wouldn't come to hear uh, a pastor preach or a youth leader uh, lecture or whatever, you know. That's why. Why do you think the kids will come and see people dressed in, in yellow and, and uh, blue yeah. coats? And, and, you know, why do you think Because that's how they dress. Yeah. I mean, that's how they dress today. You go in, we do a lot of high school work. We're traveling a lot in a lot of high schools. And you go in and you see some of those kids, and it blew me away the first time I saw how they were dressing. I thought, this is high school? This looks like, uh, you know, I can't, and different. But that's how they dress. So they can relate to... You know, if we walked out on stage with a three-piece suit and did the type of song we had just sung here, it would be like, you know. It would be real different. It would be different, yeah. So it'd be, it, 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 would, it would be confusing. It would yeah. confuse, you know, where we're coming from. Choose so, to confuse. So, so, <laughs> Choose to confuse, right. I like so it. So we try to, try to relate to where the young people are at today. Yeah. And we want them to, to relate to Jesus and how he pertains to them in this century. Okay, now your, your mom and dad began the Watchmen. Yeah. That used to be called the Watchmen. Right. Mm -hmm. Abraham, uh, right. In 1968. That's correct. What do your mom and dad think of what you guys are doing now? Well, it's interesting because uh, <laughs> our mom used to travel with the group years ago, played keyboard with us when we sang Southern Gospel. And now she stays home, and my dad travels with us and runs lights and spotlight and things for us at night. And uh, so it's kind of a complete turnaround. But the bottom line is people are, young people are finding Jesus. Yes. Okay, that's the bottom line. If that were not happening, I would say we need to go back and do it the old way. But mm -hmm. kids are responding to the gospel, finding the Lord in the concerts. That's what's exciting. Yeah, that's So that's neat. the bottom line, yeah. Okay, what's your next song? So it's a song called Fighting Against the Tide. Okay. Sounds good. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right. Thank you. There's a new way tugging at my soul And get my feet placed on the ground No, I've been trying so hard But I keep on losing ground Isn't there someone who can turn me around Oh, 
Oh, no. 